Hey everybody, welcome back. Sure, things didn't end the way I wanted them to end in the last episode, but don't forget we did get a 10 piece. I'm just gonna leave it like this. And I'll be an innocent, I'll be a clumsy whippersnapper. Like the kind that accidentally breaks your window with an errant baseball. Number one crime in 1950s America. I expected to lose round one. I am looking at my squad and I'm expecting to lose round two as well. We need some attack damage. Get some of this out there. Thank you. Get some of this out there. We could always just buy bacon. If we're going to... Oh, you could be good too. But if we're going to buy bacon, put it on a, on a freaking cricket, man. Put it on a unit that has a little bit of defense as well. And then you never know. Okay, okay, I, I see how it's going here. I'm a little concerned. I'm not concerned, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm not upset, we drew, I'm okay, okay. I, I thought I did the math completely wrong. I thought we lost. No level and no units I really like. Take this, hope a yak shows up. A muskox, it did not show up, take this. Roll once. I'm... What can I say? I am what I am, okay? Give me a lemur, and the lemur is going to give us a radio. That is like my... It's 1E4. I get roasted for running the same squad all the time. This is just my opening. Imagine if in chess you had to, like, draw cards until you got the opening you wanted. <laughs> We're torched on this one, by the way. But imagine if you had to... I, oh, I, I'm, I'm the white pieces, but I only drew a C4 card. I don't know, I don't know how to play the English. Minus two, minus two. You don't... You ever see Ratatouille? It's harder to be the guy cooking the food than it is to be the guy saying this food is... sucks. I'm, I'm going four squatted for stats here. So shut it! Okay, I'm picturing you as a jaded adult taking a bite of Super Auto Pets and then it's bringing you back to your childhood and your childhood is you watching me play Isaac and then like as an adult, a single tear rolls down your... I see the plus twos that you're making right now. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, you know how the lemurs play. You go muskox. You go lemur. Lemur gives us another radio. You roll. We don't like a beaver very much. What I do like is a tropical fish. A oh, beaver gives attack now. Delightfully devilish. What's crazy is I feel like the unit most likely to stick around on the squad right now is the lemur. There's another unit that gives adjacent friends 3-3 three, three whenever friendly toys die. And if we could just get that out there on like a level up and then slow play the lemur as long as possible, like that's a rare scaling engine. This weekly is very like devoid of scaling. Um, for the time being, why don't you take garlic? You're not going to... Well, you know what? Let's just win some rounds. <laughs> we know we're not doing much else on this turn anyway. We might as well buy three pieces of equipment. We just won our last round. We spent nine gold out of a possible ten. But I guess you can only ever really spend nine. Well, I guess that's not true because you could possibly, with buying and selling, maybe you could spend more than... Anyway, it's neither here nor there. But for now, rather than rolling, looking for levels up for units that will be useless in the late game, why not take advantage of the equipment that was available in the shop, even if we consider it otherwise suboptimal? Take your level. We're going to go radio scaling. Um, call me crazy. I think it's, I'm, I've been buffing the ox, so it's annoying for me, but I think the ox has to go, and I think a crocodile is just a, it's a late game viable unit. These aren't my lads. These aren't my lads. Go ahead and take 50% chance to do double damage, and we'll keep scaling you. At this point, we've gotten a reasonably high amount of extra HP, so I feel like we're, we're doing okay. This squad is just crazy good. Double damage, though? Oh! <laughs> the double damage would have... Well, we probably still would have died to the wolf. Wow, that's a good squad. Roll me. 
I really don't wanna. It's just, it's not, it's not the right move for the times. I'm sorry, it's not the right move for the time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I yield! I yield! Four rats in the shop? I could have easily pivoted the rat hippo there. I wish that I knew what I know now, when I was younger. I'm not rinsed. We draw. I'm not rinsed. We don't draw! I win! I win! Okay. Plus I got the rats on my side. Vindicated, somewhat. Very important level. And then if you give me a tier 6, oh man. I was just going to say, just about any tier 6 would really hit the spot. T-Rex is only buffing the crocodile. But that's not going to last forever. We could use another tier 5. On faint, give skewer to the nearest pet behind. Am I willing to sell a lemur to get this out here? Because of the scaling potential, I think I, I almost have to. And we're going rat at the back, which is not sensible. Because then it spawns a 1-1 that could win them the game. Like it turns draws into losses. But, well, nevertheless. <laughs> Um, this, this is just horrible in all senses of the word. There's no way we're punching through that to begin with. Okay. But I still, I think we made the right pivot to have a good chance to get to 10. Not a guarantee, but a good chance. I think you, rather than level, you go, we get a wolf. We could level and get an early tier 6. You know what? To the victor go the spoils. And sure, let me get a mantis shrimp that levels here. And now we got a we got a certain something. What do we need? I would say our stats are not that good and our team has no synergy. So we could really just use a draw rather than asking for anything specifically. A draw would really hit the spot. Best I can do is uh draw! <laughs> Let's go! Draws are very favorable to us because we scale. The sniping teams are also gonna get better, but this is this is still pretty good. It's too early for a lemon. Pain. You're not that good, honestly. Like let's let's get our own sniper out there. I'm not buying a chili. I think most of these units are dead before they get a chance to attack. It really comes down to like can we get some chocolate out there ASAP and then again what kind of teams are we going up against we lose to like big scaled teams like we probably lose to this team because the hippo goes crazy we did shoot the hippo which is nice but yeah with it, this this hippo eats us alive so we want to see less hippo teams we actually want to see like as many sniping teams as possible losing to Christopher Guest Harlan Pepper Obviously, we'll take a level. It would go crazy to see exactly that. We, we need this first, but then we also... Um, okay, sure, thank you. I was going to say we also need the T-Rex. I forgot I could not also buy the T-Rex, but... It's okay, roll me once. It is, it's the situation that we're in. I had a heart attack there. Did I roll past chocolate in the shop? We may not live through this one anyway, so maybe it'll be irrelevant. Oh, tanky hippo. My nemeses. <laughs> It's a big sheep, too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Level two? Extreme pain. Honestly, I, I, you may take issue with the way we ran that one. I think we were very close to... Maybe to call it a 10-piece is not fair, but I think we were very close to getting somewhere on that one. We, it would be better to stabilize early, man. Let me be a famous ghost, like Space Ghost, who is not really a ghost, really, but... I think we're, we're throwing a lot of life away in the early game by not getting seven jellyfishes in every shop. So if they could just give us a shop full of jellyfish, man, oh man, I would be thrilled. I'd be over the moon. And the dish would run away with a spoon. I would also say maybe never purchase uh, an otter ever again. <laughs> Let's 
huge value. Huge value. The value remains large. Wait a minute. Don't don't lose to an otter right after I said never buy an otter. Okay, that's just insulting. They to be fair, they had two otters. I said never buy an otter. Now I think we owe it to ourselves to try. Sorry to the duck and the cricket. But this gives us another early level opportunity. That's big. Or could be big at least. And then well, I would like to not lose early. So to not lose early, we sell one guinea pig rather than combine them. And then we run you at the front with a musk ox behind. I think that gives us our best chance. Now, we could have also not bought it. We could have also combined the guinea pigs. Then we wouldn't have had enough money to do what I was trying to do. But remember, I'm trying to stabilize early. Think about how many rerolls we can buy if we survive a little bit longer instead of just giving up a loss easy here. And we don't really care to rush jellyfish levels too much as we would like to wait until the jellyfish hit level two, which hopefully will be happening right freaking now, brother. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I'm going to leave you as is for now, and I'm going to I'm going to freeze this end turn next turn buy the jellyfish big level. Sell the beetle, place the guinea pig on top of itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. This guy definitely knows what I'm talking about. I think we get rinsed by this squad. We definitely do get rinsed by this squad. Oh, we definitely beat them. Never mind, I was sandbagging accidentally. My apologies. And then now this is beautiful. One of these. Sell me. Probably I can sell you as well. Pop you down, combine you. The jellyfish is going sicko mode. It'd be a great turn to get some garlic. Um, I mean, a hippo goes nuts if we could scale it. I definitely think a lynx is also just fun. Let's relax for a second here. I know you're you're in a weird spot. I'm actually gonna keep you around. Just and forget the hippo. We're not. It's boring. Also, I don't know what to do with it right now. <laughs> we should really sell the guinea pig, but... Um, garlic for your jellyfish, but then also we're leveling the musk ox to hopefully get our jellyfish some extra stats as well. You links me, I links you, brother! Now you're the one with the level 1 jellyfish, and I'm the one with the level 2 jellyfish. Yeah, it, it sucks being on the other side, doesn't it? How about one of these? How about one of these? How about you have no reason to be here, so toss me a hawk instead? How about you have... Well, first get this. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's right. So the idea behind this squad right now, our power level is high. Go for broke right now. We win the sniper battle. We win the flycatcher battle, a.k.a. we win. So we're not too worried about the distant future if we could just get five wins as quickly as possible. Now, I think we're not worried about the muskox at all. If you're sticking around, take some support. I could sell you and just buy a deer. You're just an amazing unit to have. I think I would sell you and buy a deer for now and just put the deer like right there. I know it's a weird one. Save your gold with the magpie. Oh, man. Like, a level 3 jellyfish is looking very plausible. Very plausible indeed. Little rat for you. No big deal. Not sweating it. I'm feeling clean with it. I'm feeling like there ain't nobody dope as me. That's how fresh and how clean clean I'm feeling. And these units, I don't respect them right now. No disrespect. I don't respect them, though. Not interested? Okay. In that case, I, sh I should have stopped on three. I forgot that we had a level three magpie. Next round, good units and chocolate, and we got lots of real estate to play with. We are going to lose this round, though, I believe. Just being straight up with your brother. It's a very great-looking squad from them. It's a very good-looking squad. You need it needed to be good to compete with our squad, and it was. Uh, get sold. Get purchased. I'm honestly very tempted to sell you. 
because we're going to want to get better units anyway. We don't have friendly toys breaking. Chocolate is a big one. You probably go jellyfish first, then it gives us a tier six. Tier six is lionfish or mantis shrimp. Go ahead and toss me a little, a little mantis shrimp. It's just funny, just a funny unit. Our Lynx can probably go too. We're, we're very close to having a good T-Rex squad, I think. Two jellyfish, what are they doing? What am I doing? I'm winning. I'm losing. I'm winning. <laughs> Holy. Pass me. That's a, that's a big one. We obviously take our level. We obviously take our Mantis. And I think at this point, so you're dealing 10 damage to a random enemy. This gives us a better chance at a level, and you're dealing 20 damage to the front enemy. Well, I guess technically you're dealing 10, I understand. And we stop here because of the magpie. But usually, damage to the front enemy, this weekly, I think matters more than damage to the back enemy, at least right now. The worst pos the enemies put their best units in the front position. Holy cow. Spicy draw. The exception is like Spinosaurus builds, but we just won't go up against one. How does that strike you? Nice little level. T-Rex me. Thank you so much. I also think the boar could go hard, but we got, we got a great T-Rex squad. It does suck that... Take this now. It sucks that our jellyfish is not going to get the stats from the T-Rex or our magpie, which means we next round we sell the magpie to get a better sniper out there, perhaps a leopard. You think? Fizzled panda! Your panda fizzled! We take those. Okay, we only gotta eke out two more wins. We got a lot of room to play with to get there. Honestly, for the time being, you're gone. You're here. We're trying to eke out wins. Purchase some pancakes. We could use the buffs. You, oh, I was gonna say you need a lemon, but you don't really. Come on. So, we don't need tomatoes this week. Everything gets sniped before they get a chance to attack. You're, you're insulting me with these rolls. You're insulting me with these rolls. You've insulted me to no end with these rolls. I'm wasting my gold. I'm not... I'm not okay, that's what we want to see at the end of the... Oh, and that frees me. Oh, I think if you could do it on zero frames, you might be able to get there. <laughs> that's a critical error. That's bad. Your team's better than mine. Great crane. The only thing I'll say about the crane, I understand its value, but I do feel like as snipers pop off, the crane becomes less and less likely to, to ever get a chance to trigger. Because it's, it's likely to get sniped, or alternatively, um, the unit in front of it could get sniped in one hit instead. But we're not really running that kind of build right now. I'm, I've lost all confidence in my squad, by the way. Never mind. I'm feeling okay. When does it end? Does it ever end? <laughs> I really thought we had him there. I thought we had him. You got quite the squad. We were evenly matched, but some matches were more even than others. Two chocolates! <laughs> this changes everything. I think you go T-Rex over Leopard for sure. And we get another T-Rex. Okay. The squad needs the stats. Daddy needs his stats. Notice, it, it's, it's uh, you, your panda fizzled again. This is going to be satisfying. It's the same team, like the same person too, which is even more hilarious. This week has like extremely, well, I, I don't know the right word. Let me just put it this way. Everybody's running almost exactly the same squad or some very, very small variant of it at the later levels. But unlike most weeks where it's just a race to 50-50, this week, um, because sniping is just fun, is more fun. Okay, I see. We, 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 we're all on a very similar trajectory here. Insane pita on our mantis shrimp just carried us to victory. We take those. Beautiful. No... Uh, no badges, but we did unlock something. I just clicked like a madman. And now I gotta, I gotta get this going relatively quickly here, and I'll tell you why. 
You know, honestly, I think we need attack. I think we do need to run two squatted here. I think my problem is that, like, I summon a bunch of 1-3s, and then they all get killed by, like, 1-3-3. Three, three. Sometimes it's better to just have, like, one big unit. It'd be like a fatherly soup. Yesterday I had to leave for the daycare pickup. The daycare pickup was... That stings. <laughs> the daycare pickup was, to my surprise, half an hour before the normal pickup. So I, I know you're going to say, oof. No, 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 you don't understand it because I've explained it poorly. Go ahead, take that. I know we're running four squatted and I, I don't care. So I normally pick her up around 4.15. Halfway through my workday yesterday, they said, hey, pick her up at 3.45 today. We got a doctor's appointment. Okay, no problem. I, and I'm not necessarily complaining on my behalf. I'm just saying the average person with an average kind of job can't just do that, at least not, not on a regular basis. So I was expecting a little bit of understanding. I showed up at 347 because someone that didn't know how to drive was in front of me on the road. And first thing she says is, you were so late I almost had to call you. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, the next thing she says, we'll take it. The next thing she says is, just so you know, it's early pickup again tomorrow. I have another doctor's appointment. Please be on time. Ooh, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, madam. I was two minutes late for the 30-minute early pickup that I got on short notice. And then you hit me with the tomorrow's early too. Anyway, so today is tomorrow, and I'm trying to avoid that happening again. So I'm doing the math in my head, and I'm like... I got time. <laughs> if I show up two minutes late again, she will probably execute me. So I want to make sure we're not, we're not more than 60 seconds late. I also, I mean, I, I blame them and I eh, semi blame myself, but I also blame my sat nav, which told me it was like, turn on the Granville Street, and I was like, brother, you never turn on the Granville Street. It doesn't have a protected left. Sometimes it could take you, you know, three lights just to be one of the two cars that makes it through on the green because the road is so busy. Pass me? Come on, give me, give, you know what, I'll go double salad here just to keep the momentum, but that's fine. But I said, you know what? I'm running late, so I'm going to let the sat... I'm assuming the sat-nav took traffic into account. Little did I know, I should have trusted myself instead. Should have trusted myself instead. Quite the duck you got there. More power to you. I could buy meat, but I'm passing. Because I want to level. Well, I don't want you to level yet. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to call it like I see it. You had your chance, although you're more likely to get a benefit than you. You're kind of tapped, huh? You are our best unit, on the other hand, but you're going to scale, and I think you should scale like this. That's my own alarm telling me to leave so I won't be late. But the I set the alarm under the pretense that it would then take me like another five minutes to get out the door, and I can do it in three and a half. <laughs> And it's, I'm not late. I'm going to be like on time for the early pickup. I'm going to be early. I might just be on time for being early, which should be commended, not mocked. Okay, you go this, you go this, and you go straight to the AM radio again. You roll once. Oh, you go straight to it, brother. And then you go for the double HP instead. And then you're going to be the guy that I come out here to get me some scaling. But I'm realizing now I need to play a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm realizing I got to play a little bit faster. and that, Or I could just come back to it. But then I, realistically, I'm not getting back to it for quite some time. That's uh, quite the royal flycatcher you got there. I'll give you some credit for that one. Here's your credit for being lucky. Okay. I really don't want to sell a clownfish. I don't really want to sell our best unit either, but you're an important unit to buff. 
You need to get buffed, and you need to get buffed. So, there's a weird one for you. Level me. Bro, I need the levels. I'm, I don't know what to tell you. That's good for next round. That's okay. I'm rolling like a madman because I, I don't have a lot of time. It's going to break. It's going to give great stats to our adjacent units. We also need garlic on our jellyfish. Okay, I'm, see I'm seeing how it's coming together here. You're going to beat me, and that's good because it makes me more likely to be early instead of merely on time, which is something to be admonished. I didn't even have the heart to tell her, mostly because I could barely speak. I was so upset, but um, I didn't have the heart to tell her. The only reason I was two minutes late was because my doctor was like two minutes late or like 12 minutes late, more like calling me for my own doctor's appointment. I should have sold you one second. I'm, I'm getting all twisted up. Maybe you should just level instead. That's a good one. That's a neat trick. Do we want a mantis shrimp? At some point, we're going to want a mantis shrimp. Now, here's the problem. We got no toys. You should go here just to possibly kill a unit quickly. And you guys get buffed. And the Mosasaurus at the back is completely fine right now because we don't have friendly toys breaking anyway. Please beat me so I can, so I can be early. Please defeat me. Huge shot. Anything that gives us a better chance of killing a hippo early. Oh. <laughs> I'll take my draw. Actually, the draw is like the worst possible outcome. Wait, wait, why, am I, why am I stressing? We only got two lives left anyway. We're going to be on time. Or maybe like two minutes late at most. Um, there's no guarantee we're going to get another lemur. So for now, get out of here. I buff a lionfish. We're more likely to find a lionfish right now than we are to find a mantis shrimp because we need to get the mantis shrimp on level up. Now you go front of house. That's my squad. And then play on turbo speed. Go, 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 go! It's a big lad. It's a large lad there. There's no denying the largeness of this lad. Hang on, though. Oh, baby! You're gonna make me late! That's huge, though. I do appreciate it. You gotta go. Mantis Shrimp moves up. We're going Taper style. Forget about the T-Rex. It's, it's not that kind of build right now. Taper me. Who gon' taper me? You know what I'm talking about? You guys know the, the song by The Weeknd featuring Kendrick Lamar? Who gon' taper me? I'm a mother freaking star boy. <laughs> I'm, I gotta pause it, man. I don't have to pause it yet, but I gotta pause it in like two minutes, okay? Because I'm, I'm too good. I thought I wasn't that good, but it turns out I'm like the best to ever do it. Stick with the lemon for now. All I need to do is get beaten twice, but I don't think anybody else has the stones. The heck was that? The heck is this? My lemon's torched already? I told you, nobody can defeat me. I'm too good. <laughs> We're not going crocodile. It's too late. Come on. Something? Something good. I got to keep the lemur for now. I feel like I've got to keep the lemur. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Is it possible that my taper could die and become a taper that then dies, that becomes a taper, that dies, that becomes a taper? This squad with the double T-Rexes, thank you for doing me the service of at least uh, killing me slightly faster. But you can see where this squad's going. It's just not going to get there right now. Could get there on the next round. If you could just go a little faster, that would really hit the spot, though. Something like that. Something like this. Come on. You piece. No no wolves. No turkeys. No, no, no. It's got to be on this one. Another lionfish. Pop it down right there. I think this squad goes crazy. I'm so embarrassed that this squad goes crazy. Because I, like, no matter what, I have to, I'm, I'm going to cut it. After this one, I got to call it. Maybe the leopard crushes us. It doesn't crush us, does it? It gets bodied by this. Oh no, because you're not, you could be, oh, it didn't become anything because of the snipes. Thank you for killing me, Avi Pro. Thank you. I, I, I've got to go. See you next time. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. See ya.